everybody. Welcome to our first happy hour flow of the week. I'm really excited to be with you today sharing some of my favorite fun postures. We're in happy hour flow this week, going live here at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time from Monday all the way till Friday. So a few things just to make sure you have handy for our fun flow today is going to be, I love to always make sure you have water. Also, get some of your favorite fun music. It doesn't have to be yoga music. We're gonna be wanting to move fun today. You can also do this in silence, being guided by my voice, but if you wanna get your own playlists out or your own fun music, make sure you have that handy as well. I'm gonna share with you a few of my props. Again, I'm trying to get things that you could have in your home already, so a blanket uh, or a pillow is a great op um, option to have here. If you don't have yoga blocks, Get some books. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a scarf or you can also use a belt. So again, these are a few of my in-household items you might have that can be in replacement of specific yoga props. I also always bring in my favorite essential oils that I use. And again, as I did last week in our lunch hour flow, I have some of my favorite oils I'm gonna be using so in the beginning, when we do a centering meditation, I'm gonna use this blend called Align. I love it, love it, love it. Helps me align in. Uh, then when we get into the Shavasana, which is relaxation pose, uh, I'm going to move into Anchor, which is more of the grounding blend. And then when we come back out of our quick 30 minute flow today, uh, I love this citrus blend, it's called Arise, and it just brings me on back. So we are gonna get started in just a moment. This is about fun postures and making yoga a little fun tonight to get our happy hour started right this week. So share this video with anybody that you know could use a little quick happy hour pivot for this week. And getting all those props. Uh, we're gonna get started at five past the hour so that we can, well not the hour, so what is it? Yeah, we're gonna get started in just a couple minutes to make sure everybody can come on in and get their props handy. So in the description of this live video, it shares all those props that you're going to need for our yoga flow today. And we're gonna get started in just a moment. I'm gonna fix my video so you can see me a little more. There we go. Now, as always, everybody, while you're getting your props handy and feel free to listen along, if there are postures or modifications or things that you really are digging, from the meditation or the relaxation or anything, just throw the likes and the loves up. When you throw likes and loves up during the practice, I'm able to then go back and see uh, what you liked and loved so I can keep just customizing. Also, you can put in the comments below if there are areas of the body or anywhere that you wanna work on for this practice, I am more than happy to support you with that as well. Uh, each day we're gonna have a, be a little bit different, so I like to let people know Give me any feedback of anything that you want me to work on, and I'm more than willing to offer that to you. So I'm gonna give us just one more minute, and we're gonna get started. So having all your props handy. If you're on a hardwood surface or a hard floor surface, I recommend getting a yoga mat with a blanket. Um, and then if you're on carpet like me, you don't necessarily need anything. I'm gonna get my oil out. I'm gonna take a little swig of water here. All right, so find your way to an easy seated pose that's comfortable for you. If cross-legged does not serve you, then please don't sit cross-legged, however you feel the most comfortable. And then what I'm gonna have us do is if you have any of your favorite oils to center with, we're gonna do just a gentle centering breath. And have you get those oils out. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> nice deep breath in. Last one, inhale, and exhale. And now just begin to slowly find your way in to the present moment by closing your eyes, allowing the hands to rest on the thighs, relaxing the face and the jaw, begin to move inward. Breathing in, breathing out. Starting to just feel the natural rhythm of your breath flowing in, flowing out. 
the jaw relaxes and the space in between your eyebrows softens. And as you breathe in through the nose, and you also breathe out through the nose, I want you to find your way into your diaphragmatic belly breathing. If you need support with this, you place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart. And as you breathe in, begin to feel that belly expand like you're filling a balloon with air right inside your belly. And as you breathe out that nose, imagine that balloon is deflating, navel the spine. Again, inhale, feel the belly expand. And exhale, belly relaxes. Starting to find that belly breath here. And as you're breathing in, I want you to really check in. Is the belly pushing into your hand before the chest pushes into your hand? Checking into, as an observer, are you a chest breather or a belly breather? If you're noticing it more into the chest, just bring your awareness and really focus on breathing into that belly. So when we belly breathe, it activates our vagus nerve. This is a nerve that allows our brain and our gut to talk to each other. It also innervates our heart. It is a really vital nerve that allows these two things to talk to each other. As our gut is our ecosystem, with the bacteria and everything our gut, it really is what they call our second brain. And this vagus nerve is almost like that phone line in between gut and brain. So the more that you can really breathe into that belly, it activates your vagus nerve to calm you down taking you out of your sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight, which is where cortisol is activated. It takes you for a moment into parasympathetic nervous system, which is where you're in rest and digest. So for our centering, we wanna really focus on the choice that we have here, the control we have to bring ourselves into our parasympathetic. So that in a moment when we flow through our fun, active sequence, you're able to stay grounded in the present moment and almost cleanse and detox stress versus putting yourself into stress. Sometimes cardio activities can actually put us into stress. We want the cardio activity to allow us to cleanse and clear the toxins that don't serve our brain or our body not make it worse for us, activating more stress. So as you're breathing here, you can give yourself the opportunity to be present so that you are now in control of your yoga practice, in control of your body versus the other way around. Slowly now, your hands find their way together at your heart center. We're going to set an intention for our practice today. So this could be a word that helps you stay present and grounded. It could also be a feeling that you would like to generate during our practice today. So you can take that feeling out of this practice and into the rest of your day, your evening, your week, transforming the version of you that's showing up as well as transforming others around you. We're slowly gonna seal all of our intentions together with a single breath as you breathe in. And exhale, head moves towards the hands. The mind and the heart honor and acknowledge this intention. Your chin comes to your chest, your eyes stay closed and just begin some gentle neck rolls. We're just rolling our neck either direction as you go back, just make sure you keep the back of your neck long. If you have any neck injuries and full neck rolls do not support your neck, you can easily just sway 
from side to side. So again, you're in swaying from side to side, or you're going that full neck rotation. Again, whatever serves your body. And if you're swaying, continue that. If you're doing full rotation, pause at chin to chest, reverse direction. And we're just waking up the body, warming up the body for our fun flow. If there's anybody out there that you know could use a little fun flow for our happy hour, 30 minute class today, share the video with them. Hit the like and love if you're enjoying any of the postures throughout class. And then all of us are gonna find our way back, chin to chest. Inhale, squeeze shoulders up to ears. Exhale, shoulders back and down, stack head on shoulders, open eyes. If your legs are crossed, we're gonna change the cross of our legs. And we're gonna do three sun breaths. So this is a breath with movement you do in traditional sun salutations. So all together, inhale, sweep the arms up, palms touch. And exhale, meditation of that intention flows through that mind and seals into your heart. Inhale, reach up. And again, from that meditation we had, that intention comes through the mind, seals in your heart. Last one, reach up. And then exhale, coming on in. Inhale, reach on up. And exhale, side stretch to the left. So you're gonna root down your left hand, reach that right up and over. Nice deep breaths. We are in our, um, where I was training, Kripalu Yoga, we are in our Pratapana, which is our warm up part of the practice. This is the part where you see what body showed up today. <laughs> so really investigate and be curious what's going on in your body today. And then inhale, reach up, and exhale to the other side. Bottom shoulder relaxes, deep breaths, sits bones rooted. Taking some deep breaths in to this rib cage right here. Breathe it in, extend it. What body showed up today? And then reach up, relax that hand down. Gentle twist, so inhale, arms rise. Exhale, twist to the left. Nice deep breaths in. <sighs> nice deep breaths out. Stay tall in the twist. Let the twist in the breath almost massage those inner organs. Twisting in yoga is detoxing. It's almost like rinsing out the toxins of your organs. And then unravel. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, twist. Slowly twisting out your toxins. Nice deep breaths. Coming back to your belly breath. We want to keep that sense of presence and that groundedness as we begin to create more active movement. And then unravel. Set any props aside. Find your way to table position. I love cat-cow. It's one of my favorite things to warm up before I get moving. So we want active yogi hands. You want to spread your fingers wide. You gently push your knuckles and grip your fingers. So in yoga, if you start to feel like there's space underneath your hand, you haven't had that yogi hand. If you ever need support, soft fist is an option. And any of you with really bad wrist issues, yoga blocks or books can give you support by bringing the edge of your hand right here to the edge of the book or the block. It'll take some of that pressure off of your wrists. All right, we're going to do cat cow. So inhale, tailbone shines up, belly to mat, gaze up. Exhale, tuck that tail, squeeze the navel and gaze in. Inhale, flow through into cow, and then exhale into cat. Start to find now, cat, cow, your own pace. As much as possible, really try and articulate each vertebra here as you flow. We're going to begin to have a fun flow, so there's going to be some active, quick movements. This slower movement can help you find that vinyasa which vinyasa in yoga means breath and body beginning to move as one. You're also gonna find your rhythm. And if the pace of my sequence today is too fast for you or too slow, you're always able to adapt it. I like to say modify however you need to to support the well-being of you over your ego. So let this be a journey into your own well-being. 
Next cat arch, you're going to come on back into stillness. Now we're going to do a gentle core activation so that you can stay supported in some of the balancing we're doing today. So tuck the right toes under and then pulse them for a moment. We just want to wake up the back of our right leg. As you're doing this, I want you to start to engage your core. So imagine like you have a corset wrapped right around your torso. You're long and strong. So you want to zip up a tight pair of pants and hug in those lower ribs. With that, I want you to lift that right leg up. I like to keep the foot flexed and keep it hip height. If you want to advance it, you're going to take left arm out, thumb faces the ceiling. If this is too much for your wrist, soft fist. You might stay here. The rest of us, if you want to advance it more, take a deep breath in. Exhale, tap the limbs to the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tap. Core activates the body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Last one. And then exhale, tap. Coming on back. Neutral spine, table pose. Left leg out. And again, just pulse this leg. We want to wake up the back of our leg. Nice deep breaths here. And again, investigate core activation here. Then lift it up, hip height. Squeeze in that lower core here. That right arm can come out shoulder height. Thumb faces ceiling. Nice deep breath in. And either stay here or advance it. Tap down. Inhale, lift up. The core moves the body. Exhale, tap. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And exhale, tap down, table pose. Now we're going to move into puppy dog here, which is a modification of down dog. So tuck the toes, seat to feet. You're going to extend the arms as long as they'll go, and you keep the forearm and the arm off of the floor. Then you're going to fully rest your forehead down. We want to activate our hands so you reach and grip with the hands or tent your fingers up. Nice deep breaths. So again, this is a modification of downward dog. If at any point during the practice you need a little more rest, but you love that shoulder stretch, puppy dog is an option. If at any point it's too much for you and you need to break, child's pose is there. You just untuck the toes, seat to feet, and fully relax the arms, and you're in the surrendering pose of child's pose. Awesome. So from here, gaze forward, plant your hands, and then move the hips up and back to your first downward facing dog. In down dog, feet should be at least hip socket width apart. Activate the hands, and then take your dog for a little walk. You're going to bend one leg and then the other. So waking up the back of our body, and then we're going to wake up the front of our body. Nice deep breaths here. And then coming into stillness. Nice deep breath in. And an auditory sigh. Ah, the sigh helps the cortisol levels find balance. Walk feet to hands now. Bend the knees to protect your hammies. And then spread these toesies, just like you spread your hands. Round up one vertebra at a time. Your head and neck are the last to rise. And find your way into mountain pose. On an inhale, the arms rise up. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms rise. You're going to clasp your left wrist. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, rise up. Reverse the clasp. Exhale, side stretch. We're doing three sun salutes. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Nice deep breath in. <sighs> nice deep breath out. Walk the feet to meet the hands. We're speeding up now. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Now you can round up. Great for people with low blood pressure. Everybody else, hands to hips, grip your feet. Inhale to stand. Exhale, the mountain. Inhale, arms rise, palms touch, and exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms rise, clasp your left, exhale to the right. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp, exhale to the left. One more like this, inhale, rise, and then exhale again, fold forward. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, down dog. Nice deep breath in. Ah, deep breath out, stepping the feet back to meet the hands. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale again, roll up or grip those feet. Rise the arms out and up. 
And then all of us will find our way, our center, our intention. Inhale, arms rise, clasp your left. Exhale to the right. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp. Exhale to the left. Inhale, rise. At exhale, now hands and hips, we're gonna sit back, chair pose. You wanna zip up your lower core. You should be able to still see your toes. So knees don't go past your toes, zip it up. Activate that core, hands come to heart center. You can either stay here or full chair pose. Nice deep breath in, exhale, deep breath in, and exhale, straighten on up. I want you now to come nice and wide on the mat, heels in, toes out. We're gonna gently bounce in goddess. As you're bouncing here in goddess pose, we're gonna start to activate our moon energy, the feminine energy of yoga. Sun salutes, we're the masculine energy of yoga, the active energy, as well as using the shoulders as our sense of strength. Moon salutations are all about the hips. So we're gonna just activate these for a moment. So coming into stillness now in goddess squat, you wanna zip up, make sure your knees are going over your toes. We're gonna do some moon flowers here to activate. So inhale, straighten up, reach up, exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale, goddess bend, scoop. Use that lower core. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, scoop. And coming on up now, bend those elbows, palms face each other, grip. Lower core activated. Three breaths, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift the right heel, and exhale. Inhale, lift the left, and exhale. Last one, inhale, lift up both. Lower core, and exhale, coming on all the way down. Heel toe those feet back to center from here. Inhale, back into chair pose, activate the core. Hands can come up, heart center. Now we're gonna do an active breath called Kapalabhati. It is an active breath with a passive inhale and an active exhale through your nose. So it sounds like this. With an Active exhale with the core. This is great massage for your abdominals. It also releases any stress tension. So we're gonna do this for a count of 10. I'm gonna do it a little slower. So inhale, fully exhale it out. Feel these thighs burning. Nice deep breath in and exhale, exhale. Four. And coming on back up. Now, if you're feeling the nasals, cleansing, grab some tissues so you have them handy. We're gonna go back into that breath in a moon flower now. So I want you to stand nice and wide again. Kapalabhati is active, it's called breath of fire. We're gonna get some of that fire energy moving. Grip that core, and now we're gonna exhale as we go down. So we inhale up, remember, I'm gonna show us first, and then the forceful exhale would be, so inhale, two, Three, four, lower core active, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, and coming on back, heel, toe back in, and inhale, roll the shoulders up, exhale, back and down, <sighs> inhale, arms rise, exhale, folding forward, Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands. Right foot steps back. We're in a runner's lunge. Then we're gonna lower that back knee. If you need more height, here's the chance to get your yoga blocks or your books. Again, using more height if you need it. And we're gonna take some nice deep breaths here. This is a great stretch for your right hip flexors. One more nice deep breath in. Nice, deep breath out. And now from here, we're gonna come into a downward facing dog. So plant your hands. If you have props, like the blocks, you can place them right at the front. Just make sure they're away from the spatial touch. And then step back down dog. Nice, deep breath in. <sighs> nice, deep breath out. From here, walk the feet to meet the hands. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise on up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms rise, clasp your left wrist. Exhale, side stretch. 
Inhale, rise, reverse the clasp. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, rise, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, straight spine. And then exhale, left foot steps back, lower that knee. You can get blocks or books for height. Just take some deep breaths. We want to stretch those left hip flexors now. Nice deep breaths in. Nice deep breaths. And then we're going to step into back to down dog. So plant your hands, grip your core, step on back. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out. And from here, walk the feet to meet the hands. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, heart center. And now we're going to do twist in our chair pose. Zip up. Come on down. You want to make sure you can still see your toes. I'm going to show you the modified version for beginners. If you're more advanced, twist along at your own pace. Left hand to hip. Inhale, right arm rises, and then exhale. Twist it across. Now this knee shouldn't have moved. In alignment. This might be where you stay. You can go farther and bring your hands together. That's great. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. Now you might stay here. Fun is all about finding your balance today. So find a focal point on the floor. Root all your weight into your left foot and see if you can, oh, oh, see if you can step that other foot back. Oh, see if you can get it there. One breath in, one breath out. It's okay if you fall, one breath in. And then wherever you're at, downward dog. Oh, great job, everyone. Inhale, oh, exhale. Fun is in finding your balance. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. And then from here, inhale, rise up. Exhale, right back into chair. We're going to the other side. So, right hand on hip, inhale, left. And exhale, again, twist to the other side. Sometimes one side is different. Watch this knee here. Again, fun is all about that activation and that curiosity of your balance. Deep breaths in. Now you wanna root all the weight into the foot that you are twisting on, and then see if you can step the other one back. Find a focal point, push this big toe down. Wherever you're at, two breaths, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Oh, great job, everybody. Breath in, oh, breath out. Now from here, walk the feet to meet the hands. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms touch. And exhale to your heart. Inhale, arms rise, clasp the left wrist. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, rise, reverse the clasp and stretch. Inhale, rise, and now stand nice and wide. Take a nice deep breath in, puff that chest. Exhale, fold forward. Let your head and neck relax. And now we're gonna do Three auditory side breaths out with what I like to call the let go breath. So as you breathe in, I want you to imagine the word let. Giving yourself permission to accumulate whatever doesn't serve you. Energy, stress, tension. And as you exhale it out, I want you to feel like it dumps right out the crown of your head into the floor, almost allowing the floor or the earth energy to compost it. So nice deep breath in. Ah, let it go. Nice deep breath in. Let ah, go. One more. Inhale, let. Ah, exhale, go. Now what I would love for you to do is whatever the front of your mat or the front of your practice is, step forward, downward facing dog. We're going to move into pigeon pose. So for those of you that pigeon pose doesn't work for, and you have knee issues, I want you to come to a seated position as I'm going to offer you a modification. Everybody else, I'm going to get you in pigeon first. So inhale, right leg extends. And then exhale, you bring this knee right behind this wrist, you lower down. Then what you need to check is that back leg out of the hip socket. Fix it if it is. Now you might be floppy here. Great opportunity to get a blanket or something. So your hips are like headlights of a car. You can make it active and use your the strength of your core to stay lifted, but we don't want to plop down to one hip. We lose the juicy stretch. And then what you're going to do is begin to lean forward. You can get the blocks here, your books, stack your fists, 
and you're just going to take some breaths. If you notice your back foot sickling in, tuck your toes under. Everybody else, if you have knee issues and that's an ouchy pull on your knee, I want you all to come to your back. Those in pigeon, stay in pigeon. All right, here's a knee modification for pigeon pose. So you're gonna take, we're stretching our right hip now, all of us. You're gonna take the right ankle on the left knee. You're in a figure four and then you just pull on in. This is giving you the stretch here that we're getting in pigeon without pulling at this knee. So again, pigeon modification right here. I'm gonna have you deep breathe here. If you are in the pigeon modification, I want you to stay on your back as I transfer everybody else into the other side and I'll cue you in a moment. Everybody else that's in pigeon, I want you to take one more nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, coming on out of the pose. Everybody on your back, staying there, pulling on in. Everybody else that's in pigeon, plant your hands, step back, extend that leg behind you, lower it down. And now inhale, left leg behind you for pigeon people. And then exhale, knee behind and lower down. Same thing, okay? So you wanna bring this leg out of your hip socket, tuck the toes if you're a foot stickler. You can put a blanket underneath your left tushy if you feel yourself wobbling. And then again, you lower. You can get props here to lift up, stack your fists. Nice deep breaths on this side. Those of you that are laying on your back now, I'm gonna have you bring both feet back down onto the mat. We're gonna switch sides. So now left ankle on thigh, hug on in. So now all of us, wherever you're at, regular pigeon or pigeon modification, you're stretching that left hip. Nice deep breaths here. Those laying on your back, stay in that stretch. And those in regular pigeon, plant your hands as you rise up. Step on back. Inhale, left leg extends. And exhale. Bring your feet down and begin to untuck the toes. Seat to feet in pigeon. Are you in child's pose? Nice deep breaths. And then those that are laying on your back, bring your feet flat on the mat with knees bent. Those in child's pose, transition to your back. Feet on the flat. Feet flat, knees bent. And then we're just gonna take one modified plow pose to give your, your uh, back and your neck a stretch. I want you to really listen to your neck here. Now you need to look at me to do it. Once you are in plow pose, you cannot move your head back and forth. It will activate any problems in your neck. We don't wanna do that. So we're gonna do a modified plow by you come on up and see if you can lift your hips. Grab onto your hips. This might be where you stay. This could be your modified plow. This is amazing. This is awesome. You're gonna also, for those of you who wanna go farther, begin to lift up. You're in more of a shoulder stand and then bring your legs over, see where they'll go. So listen to the body. You wanna feel the body resting on your shoulders, not on your neck. Deep breath in, we're coming back to that belly breath, wherever you're at. If it's the gentle modification with the knees bent, supporting your lower body, let's up more. Three breaths, inhale, let. Exhale, go. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. One more, inhale, let, and then exhale, go. Support your hands, lowering down. Hug your knees in, gently rock from side to side. And now allow your legs to come on out. If you have a grounding oil you wanna use for Shavasana, get that oil. Nice deep breath in. Deep breath in. One more, deep breath in, and then exhale. Hands come by your sides, palms facing up, and just for a moment, completely surrender into the floor. As you focus on your breath, with each exhale, you surrender a little more. And in silence here, we'll surrender for just a moment. Now begin to 
to deepen the breath as you wiggle fingers and toes, as you roll wrists and ankles. On an inhale, extend the arms up above the head. And then exhale, hug the knees in, rock gently from side to side until you eventually roll over to either side in fetal pose. And then keeping the eyes closed, use the support of the floor. Press your hands into the floor, relax neck, come back to easy seated pose, eyes closed, hands to heart center, recommitting to your intention. Coming back to your belly breath, back to you present here. As we all recommit to our intentions, deep breath in. Exhale, head moves towards the hands, allowing the mind to acknowledge the heart, or the heart, the mind. Thanking yourself for your practice today. May you all be happy, healthy, live with ease. As always, the goodness inside of me honors and acknowledges the goodness inside of you, which is namaste. Thank you everyone for joining me live. Again, this was more of a fun, active flow. If any of you have an oil that brings you on back to reality, I have my Arise blend. We can massage it in our hands and cupping as we breathe in. <sighs> Let it go. Breathe in. <sighs> One more, breathe in. <sighs> and then scissoring. Squeeze those ears. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. If you have any questions about any of the sequences, please feel free to reach out. I'm here to support you. Again, the oils that I did use, I love blending aromatherapy with my practice is Align. That was the Centering Beginning Meditation. Anchor for Shavasana Relaxation. And then Arise for coming on back to the room. I also want to let you know, if you have questions about any of the postures or modifications, comment below. I'll answer anyone. Share this video with anybody that could use a little happy hour boost, uh, as well as anything that you want me to focus on for the next week. So this full week here, we'll be doing happy hour yoga from 5.30 to around 6 p.m. Eastern time every single day this week. And then for the rest of you joining in, I will be offering a lunch flow for those of you that like the afternoon and we're just going to replay the night before's sequence for the next day during our lunch hour flow at 12 eastern time a great rest of your night anybody everybody i'm here to support anybody that needs it have a wonderful monday be well